What's up you guys? It's me tapping the toy cat and in this video this is gonna be a overlook of my new Totally Hair Barbie 25th anniversary doll I just got yesterday from Toys R Us. And I had no plans of getting this doll until I seen her in the clearance I mean until I seen the clearance price on her box. These dolls normally are $24.99, but this one was $12.90. And when I got her, after I opened her, I noticed that, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but she has two scuff marks right here and here. But that doesn't bother me because she was on clearance anyway. And this was the only one I seen in the store. They might have bought the rest of them because they were on clearance. And this, this Barbie doll is... Uh, it, her dress is kind of like the one from 1992, but her shoes, I think, and her dress and her makeup is a brighter, louder, brighter color. And one thing I like about this doll is her earrings and ring is removable. And since she is a collector's doll, she came with a stand and certificate of authenticity. And she also came with a 25th anniversary, well, not, well, she came with a little hairstyle guide. They got hairstyles here and here. This kind of re reminds, this kind of, um, they, I like that they put the, put, they put the, um, look of the 90s, the feel, the look and feel of the 90s when on the box and this on little hairstyle guide. They got little hairstyles here, but, when, yesterday I seen somebody a video somebody opened a one from 1992 and it came with more hairstyles in the guard. But if you could do the same hairstyles with that, we probably could do the same ones with this one. One thing I like about this doll is she does have the click and bend knees. I don't know if you can hear that, but and she also come with the old school, school um permanent underwear that I don't like. The or, or, the original Totally Hair Barbie had removable underwear from what I remember. And she does twist and turn at the waist. I seen a video somebody posted this doll yesterday and there's doll waist and turn. But this one does and she turns, her waist turns pretty far too. Which is crazy that it turns all the way back there and but it's supposed to stop at some point, but and this does snap on, but this one this part snaps off easily a lot. I'm trying to put this back on here. One thing I wish Mattel would have did with this dolls I wish they would have made a reproduction version of the African American and Brunette versions. But I, but to my surprise, if they would have made the African American version of repro, she probably would have had a, she would have had a Christie face sculpt like the original one from 1992 did. But I ain't sweating that because I said, well, I'm gonna get a totally hair can one day, but those are on eBay, relatively inexpensive compared to totally hair Barbie. But sometimes the old school totally hair Barbie dolls can run ring up to. A hundred dollars, especially the blonde one. And the blonde one in the box with the updated 1992 logo is one of my holy grail dolls, just to keep in its box. But this one, in the meantime, this one is nice to play with. One thing I don't like about her arms is they do feel a little cheaper quality than the old school um Barbies I got with these kind of arms, but. Look, nevertheless, I'm still glad that she that her body isn't stiff, like a lot of Mattel's new um Barbies, like the Fashionistas, for instance. And she does come with hair accessories, and the little pig that that's reminiscent to the 1992 one.
But yeah, this is it for this video. This was a quick overlook on this totally hair Barbie. But yeah, this is it for this video.